Happy Tuesday. How you doing? Hey, I want to talk to you today about the only kind of prayer that will get results. Every prayer doesn't get results. I think you already know that. But there is one that does. And I will show you what it is and how to do it. And how to even get help doing it. Huh? Say this with me. The rest of my life is the best of my life. The best of my life is the rest of my life. Everything I touch turns to gold. I am smart, getting smarter every day. I am extremely talented. Great things are coming my way. Everything always works out for me. I am healed by the stripes of Jesus. I am made rich by the poverty of Jesus. I am a wonderful person. Pastor Jim is a wonderful pastor, the ultimate pastor, because I'm available to you and I get results. Everybody needs a personal pastor, a pastor they can talk to. Most people don't. There's tens of thousands of people sitting in these big churches. They have no pastor to talk to. I even saw, we were visiting uh, a city one time and we went to a big church just to see what it was like. We're at a faith church. And the pastor said, you don't want to talk to me. He says, if you need help or if you need counseling or something, call the office. They'll make an appointment with you to talk to somebody. But you don't want to talk to me. What he's really saying is, I don't want to talk to you. We used to go to a church where the pastor said, I'm going to the door now and I'll shake hands with you, but don't stop to talk. He told us that. I said to Mary, I said, let's go out a different door. I don't need to shake hands with him. He doesn't have time to talk to me. Even in a big church, he doesn't have time to stop and say, how you doing? Everybody needs a pastor they can call. Amen. We did not. We, when Mary and I were going through such a, a rough time in our lives, financially, our marriage has always been good. But financially, we went through a real hard time. I mean, we struggled financially for years because we were under the curse of the law and we didn't know it, just like a lot of people. We had nobody to talk to, nobody to help us. We, we would talk to prayer lines. They'd pray for you, but they didn't believe anything. They couldn't help you, but we do. But that's why the Lord has me doing this. I'm probably the only person in the country who is available to pray for people who can get results. Tell people that. Tell everybody you know. If they're sick or broke, call Pastor Jim. I get a lot of referrals. And these referrals, many times, get healed of stage four cancer. Brain tumors. They get healed of that stuff. Their finances, they find jobs. They, their, their marriages are, are straightened out and saved. All through the power in the name of Jesus. And I give God all the glory for everything. Amen. How to pray. How to pray. There's only one prayer that gets answered. Make sure you call me today if you need prayer. Make sure you, really sure you call when you do your offerings and donations so I can speak God's word for word blessing over you. A lot of you did your offerings and donations yesterday because yesterday was blessing day. And some of you called to have me pray the blessing over you and some of you didn't. So call me so I can speak that blessing. Everybody needs to be blessed on a regular basis. And I will make sure there's no curses in your life. Amen. We break the curse of the law, the curse of rejection. When the curse of rejection is broken, it allows God's favor to flow in your life. Did you know that? That's why I do that. And the curse of bitterness and unforgiveness, which also blocks God's blessings. I make sure you're going to live a curse-free, blessed life, folks. And I use the power in the name of Jesus to make it happen. God's word says, there is a prayer that will get answered. And it says this back here in James chapter 5. It says, 
Is anybody sick? Let him call for the pastor of the church. That word elder means pastor. And the prayer of faith shall save the sick. The prayer of faith. Very few people even know what is the prayer of faith. Google it. Google what is the prayer of faith. You'll find out very quickly, very few people even know what it is. Most preachers have no idea what that is. The prayer of faith. The prayer of faith will heal the sick. I got news for you. The prayer of faith will also pay your bills. The prayer of faith will save your soul. I always say, the prayer of faith will save your soul, heal your body, and pay your bills. And it will. There is nothing you can't have if you pray the prayer of faith. Nothing. Jesus said, whatsoever you pray for. What did he mean? Anything. He said, all things are possible to them that believe. What's that mean? Anything. You have no limitations on your life if you can believe for it. None. There's nothing you can't have. No place you can't go. No way you can't live. Drive any kind of car you want. Fly in any kind of airplane you want. You can have anything you want. If you can pray the prayer of faith. The prayer of faith has no limitations. If I could pray the prayer of faith, I could have a battleship sitting offshore. That would be mine. If I could pray the prayer of faith for it. Now, number one, I don't really want a battleship. Number two, I don't know that I could pray the prayer of faith for it. I'm being honest with you. But I'll tell you what I can pray the prayer of faith for. That God will supply all my needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. That is in God's word. And I can pray the prayer of faith for that. I can pray the prayer of faith that I am healed by the stripes of Jesus. That's in God's word. I can pray the prayer of faith that I am made rich by the poverty of Jesus. 2 Corinthians chapter 8 verse 9. I can pray the prayer of faith that God gives me the power to get wealth. That's in Deuteronomy 8 18. I can pray the prayer of faith that God will open his good treasure unto me. That's in the Bible too. That's in Deuteronomy chapter 28. I, if it's in the Bible, I can pray it. Me getting a battleship is not in God's word. So I'm not sure if he wants me to have one or not. Faith begins where the will of God is known. Believe me, when you're calling me, if it's not in God's will, I may not pray it for you. Somebody called and said, Pastor Jim, will you believe... I need, there's a church down the street that costs uh, uh, a million, over a million dollars, and I want you to agree in prayer that God will give me that church. I said, you know what? And this guy was stone cold. He's a minister. An apostle, calls himself an apostle. And he wanted me to pray that prayer with him. I said, you know what? Sir, I don't have the faith to pray that prayer with you. But I'll tell you what I will pray with you. I will pray with you that God will supply all your needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Let's start there. He didn't want to start there. He wanted to start with a million dollar church. He didn't have the money to run a million dollar church. He didn't have the congregation to run that kind of church. He didn't have the support to run that kind of church. And I don't think he had the wisdom to run it either. Now, if God would have told me to pray it, I would have had the faith to do it. 
But it doesn't say in God's word that he's going to give that apostle that kind of church. But he does say that he will supply all his needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. That we can pray for. I can, I can break curses in your life through the power in the name of Jesus. And I do that in faith. I can speak the blessing over you because God told the ministers, the pastors, the priests in Numbers chapter 6 to speak the blessing over the people word for word. So I have the faith to do that. And I do it with, and I get incredible results. I can bind the devil in the lives of your children. And your children's lives will turn around. I can do that because Jesus said I could. In Mark chapter 16, verse 17, I can do that stuff. I can heal people who are oppressed with the spirit of infirmity. Jesus did that and he said I can do what he did. If Jesus did it, I can do it. Because he said so. See, if it's in God's word, I can have the faith to do it. The prayer of faith. When you pray and you absolutely expect God to answer that prayer. That's a prayer of faith. That's what it is. Any other prayer, I hate to tell you this, is a waste of time. If you don't absolutely expect God to answer that prayer, don't pray it. Call me. I'll pray it for you. And God will do it because when two are agreed, only one, one of them needs to have faith. I'll use my faith to get it for you. My faith is transferable. Faith is transferable. The healing evangelist years ago went around all over the country using their faith to get people healed. And it works. But those people coming to them believed that they could do it. If you believe I can do it, call me. I'll get it done for you. I've had kidneys. <clears throat> I got a guy healed off his deathbed in a nursing home years ago. I mean, he said, I went in there to see him and I knew him. He said, oh, Jimmy, I almost died today. I'm so sick. I prayed for him, spoke over him, cast that spirit out. I went back the next week. <clears throat> when I went into his room, he's fully dressed. He's sitting on the side of his bed. I said to him, what's going on with you? He says, well, he says, you prayed for me and I got healed. I said, well, why are you still here? <clears throat> he says, well, I just got back from having lunch with my wife. I said, yeah, but why are you here in the nursing home? He says, because my kidneys were shut down. They've been shut down for months. My kidneys are totally dead. And they said, I can't go home as long as I'm on dialysis. I was sitting across the room for, from him. And I said to him, I said, God healed you last week. I said, do you believe he can heal your kidneys too? I will never forget that man's response. He stood up like this and he said, yes. And that's the way he said it. He yelled it across the room. I was maybe 10 feet across the room, small rooms. And he yelled, yes. And I went over and put my hand on his back where his kidneys are. I said, in the name of Jesus, I command these kidneys to start up. He went home in two days. His kidneys were working perfect. Through the power. That's the prayer of faith, folks. That's what faith does behind a prayer. Causes people who are brain dead to come to life. We've had that happen three times. You need something, you call me. I will pray that one kind of prayer over you that gets results. <laughs>